Olá. I don't know how Trisha Paytas does this, you know, spending. You know, always buy big things to make yourself feel whole. I thought I'd be like with happy with everything, but I'm not. I only bought like an expensive wand at Universal. And I didn't think to bring it, you know, um, yesterday because my feet were basically killing me. And, you know, my mom was like, don't worry, we have another day left in Universal. But then I decided after the Epcot today, I mean, we should go to Disney Springs and just hang out at the pool half of the day and relax before we have to drive to Georgia and then we're going reach. So I wanted to ask her about the one thing and she yelled at me because she was sleeping. My mom. So. No, I, because I'm so sensitive, and my mom did that, I feel hurt, and I feel like, what's the point of uh, buying a lot of stuff while you're on vacation, because um, I didn't want that life for, you know, I have to keep buying things to fill a void in my life, and um, now I finally understand why Trisha Paytas does it. I mean, well, first of all, that she makes money filming herself naked, so, okay. But she, like, goes out and buys all these ridiculous things that she does need, and she has an extra guest room with a closet full of crap. And, you know, it's like, you can't even go in her closet, because it's mostly, um racks and racks and, and purses all over the floor are worth like two thousand to seven thousand dollars. Most of some Gucci and she has no videos about it. And I never understood why you would buy that much when you were the only one person. But you know I don't have, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a friend <laughs> so I have to have meaning in meaning in my life and I, I was, was having fun spending a lot, but now I just feel like empty inside. Like, uh, should have went overboard, but I did. So, I feel bad right now. But anyway, here's my body pillow. This is pigment. <laughs> it's actually a pillow, but after the... Um, last year in the Florence, no, um, when Myrtle got evacuated, um, we had went to Epcot and Magic Kingdom with neighbors and stuff. So, we are coming up the Figment Ride last year in Epcot, and, um, I hear my mom go, Nicole, and I was like, what? She holds back, and it's got... A figment over it, and that's what I got last year. It's on the table. Right there. There's Sammy. And I was really excited because when I went to Epcot as a kid, I, um, I love, love the Imagination Figment ride. And if you've never been there, just go look it up. It's adorable. It's a, these people always have these um, video cameras that they sneak in and you get to experience the ride. Oh shit, we missed the Nemo ride. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm just realizing this is the second time now where we keep missing the Nemo and Friends ride. And every time we go to Epcot now, it's like, fuck. Anyway, um, so, um, so, yeah, um, if you don't know what, if you've never been to Disney, but you want to know who Vigman Vick, is, just go look him up on YouTube. It's the best, like, I tell you. So, yeah, I got Figment, because I felt like I needed a, um, look at Sammy. <laughs> Um, I got pigment because it takes me back to my childhood, and I'm a hugger. Also, I'm a hugger. 
Ah, uh, some, sometimes I feel sad. Um, um, whenever I talk to somebody new, it's a creeper, it's a perverted creeper, or I hug my mom and she's cranky, and, um, like, you know, why do you need a hug? Give over yourself. Like, I hear that from her. But, um, sometimes I feel sad, like, tonight, and, um, you know, um, he, he's trying to go to bed. He tucks, he tucks himself in. He digs back to bed. So he <laughs> so let me get you. Okay. So he's trying to go to bed right now. Stop licking your feet. No. So. Um. Yeah, I was, I was sad after she did that. I just feel like, you know, it's the point of doing big things if you're not going to do it a lot, you know, and, you know, if you don't have someone to do it with. So I got pigment, and that's why I was happy, because I feel like, I feel better when I'm sleeping with a pillow, like, cuddling with it. And I was debating about getting, um, a body pillow, so I could sleep better. Um... So, I saw this thing today after I got the figment on it, and um, the minute I hugged it, I was like, or I hold it, I was like, um, the ink that I felt for a riddle was gone, because I was, was getting, I was holding something, you know, and like it, it felt good to hug something, you know, that sounds sadder than it. It is, but it felt good, so that's why when we were done with uh, Epcot today, I just had to get pigment. <laughs> and so, I know that's not lame to some of you, but to me, it doesn't sound lame at all. The next thing I got was Sammy, it's a dog toy from, um, what a, it's a new collection at Disney called uh, Disney Plus. He loves it. It's really hard to do. And there's a squeaker. There's a squeaker in here. But, um, he, can't, he hasn't gotten to it yet. So, that's a good thing. See. So, yeah. And then, I got a new purse. Because mine's kind of wearing out. I probably shouldn't have. I, like I said, I was having fun today. Had some margaritas. They were very good. Um, I can't see the whole thing because it's hard to get it back. And here. Look at that. And then it was cute because it had the Disney uh, snacks on it from the parks. Yeah, uh, you know, I got some souvenirs here and there. But after what my mom said, it's like, I feel like, what is the point of all that if I can't enjoy it with someone, you know? I mean, for whatever reason, my mom got sick on the trip. She started sneezing and coughing today. It felt really horrible. Because, you know, I know it's part of a vacation. And you shouldn't feel horrible, but it felt bad because... No one should be sick on vacation, you know, so I felt good in that way. So, um, after we went to the movie here at the resort, um, which we're coming out of, um, Epcot, we went around to the movie, you know, in the resort. And then she, she asked me if we can go to Walgreens. She thought, um, she wants to get some cold stuff. So, um... We go in and I had this weird feeling that I've never ever had before. And I've had a lot of feelings. <laughs> but I had this feeling the minute I stepped in. It was like a weird feeling. I felt like Riddle was near. I swear to God, I don't know why. <laughs> it sort of just felt like, um, you ever got like a gassy uh, feeling that you're about to burp? And it just feels like bubbles in your chest. That's, that's the same feeling I got in Walgreens. But I just had this weird feeling like 
Um, okay, like I just said, it's weird feeling like he was there or um, around that area. And, and uh, you know, so this is uh, Westgate uh, Blue Chi Resort in Orlando. And there's a Chevy's nearby, so I don't know if he's in Florida. Who knows? I don't know. I haven't seen it or heard from it in three years. But that was the weirdest feeling I had today. <laughs> and uh, I was just hoping it was gas because I've had some weird feelings before, but that, that, that was, that was weird. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> you must be probably looking at this going, no, no, wait, the Twilight scene? No, 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 no. Uh, I can't. I hate when I'm thinking of something, but when I go to do it, it it's like what? You know the the um the theme for the Twilight. Uh, so no, 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 no. I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. And so I feel really bad about you know, um, what my mom said. And, well, I woke her up because I wanted to talk. I didn't mean to do that on purpose. I was just really still like up. Um, but I instantly woke her up because I felt bad. Um, about not taking my lunch yesterday. And she said that we were going to go back to Diagon Alley so I can use it a second time because it was pretty expensive for a little thing, you know. And get my um, thing out, and she um, wanted to talk to her about that, and she got like upset with me. So I hate getting so sensitive. I swear to God, <laughs> because I feel like it kills me only. Um, yeah. So I changed my thing. I'm playing a fish. Um, I figure if I'm never gonna see Riddle again. Let's try this thing one more time, and it's just all garbage, man. Um, then I'm just gonna go home, delete the account, because the uh, app is giving me a hard time. And, um, and then try DigiDate. It's for people who um, have dogs and they're looking to date other people dogs or people who like dogs and then are willing to date somebody with a dog. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. Um, tomorrow if you don't go back to Universal, um, we might just hang out here all day and then go to Disney Springs at night. Uh, so we can relax before going back home. And that's that, kiddos. Right, um, have a good night. And yes, I still do miss her a little. I don't know why. I hate that. I don't know why. <laughs> I, yeah, I just, I don't know. I know it's so weird missing someone. Um, some days I feel like my anxiety med medication makes it hard to remember him. But when I go to write, in um, my book that I'm trying to slowly write, <laughs> where I'm just writing about him in my journal, it makes me remember him, and then I just like um, the memory of him kind of washes over me as it did in my video last uh, last night, and. Um, yeah, that's what happens. It's so weird how you can um, forget somebody and then remember him and like he like he's there. You can just grab him, and bring pull him in. It's probably a, I know how weird that sounds. I just explained to you a weird feeling I got when one reads. So I'm I'm the pro of weird feelings. <laughs> um. Well, anyway, maybe I should go now, so, uh, I weird anyone else out. <laughs> Alright, I hate this fucking commercial. I'm gonna rip the TV out if I hear that. Oh my god.
But anyway, I'll, I'll go now. <laughs> Bye. You, you know you love me. Oh my god, I was gonna blow a kiss. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Alright, you know you'll love me. Bye.